Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I set up a fake beach scene in terms of how I photographed it and then later on I'm going to show you how I recreated some of the lighting in the background in Photoshop to make it look more realistic. So today we are shooting with a bone broth product and we're going for a really summery vibe, hence the sand and the blue background that I will transform into more of like a sky with some clouds. And so right now I'm just propping up the products in the sand. I'm going to, I have a limited amount of sand, so I'm going to probably add in the rest of it in post-production. And then I'm just setting up the lighting right now with the reflector. I'm starting off with the black side to kind of increase the shadows to make it look like the sun is really shining strongly on the products. It's a really warm, hot day outside, that kind of vibe. So I'm taking a few photos here, snapping away, and then I'm sort of readjusting the placement of the products a little bit in, according, in accordance with the, the lighting. And I'm going to switch around the reflector to the silver side to lighten up the shadows just for some extra other lighting options in case the black shadows turned out to be too strong. So now we head on to the editing process in Photoshop. So I've already made some basic corrections in Lightroom in terms of the straightening the image and just some basic color, not color, but lighting corrections. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the sand gaps in the image so it looks more cohesive and like it was actually on a beach as opposed to in my studio. And the second thing is I'm going to go and find a photograph of a bright blue sky to use as the background. And I like going to pexels.com. They have a really wide selection of images and it's all for free. And I will credit the photographer of this particular image in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and import that image into my photograph. And to sort of blend it in, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try a bunch of different blending modes and play around with the opacity just to see what looks the most realistic. And then I'm going to play around with the gradients as well to further emphasize that effect of like the light shining on there. So I'm going to play around with some highlights and shadows with the use of gradients. And I'm cleaning up the image and kind of like masking out the products from the sky image that I had just input in there. And to make it look a little bit more realistic, there is a slight gradient to the sky. So I'm going to sort of recreate that manually with some layers and playing around with the opacities as well. I think the more kind of like contrast you have in lights and shadows, the more realistic it looks. And there you go. There's the end product. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.